Okay guys, so in this video, we're gonna be going through an AQA A-level chemistry past paper question. This is from the MCQ, the multiple choice section of paper three. And this is an organic chemistry question revolving around isomers, okay? So let's get started. So which of the following compound pairs does not form a racemic mixture when they react together? So first off then, what is a racemic mixture? Okay, a racemic mixture is a mixture which contains a 50-50 mix of the two enantiomers, okay, the two optical isomers. It's also referred to as a race mate. So for this question then, and any question about race mates or racemic mixtures, you have to think to yourself, there's going to be optical isomers present, okay? But for this question, we don't want to form a racemic mixture. So how do we tell if an optical isomer can exist for a compound? And all you have to do is look for a chiral carbon. Okay, this terminology simply means that there are four different groups bonded to the central carbon atom. Okay, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go through these compound pairs one by one, breaking down what they are. So what is their functional group? what mechanism will take place when you react with this reagent and whether it's a chiral carbon present or not. Okay, so let's start with this first one. So the molecule in A is going to be our alkene right here. We see a double bond. Now these are all skeletal formulas. So I actually find that skeletal, a lot of students get real tripped up on this stuff, okay? And it can make working out different isomers quite confusing. And if that's the case, feel free to draw it out in a structural format with the bonds showing that might make it a bit easier for you. So the mechanism that takes place here when you react with hydrochloric acid is gonna be electrophilic addition. You don't need to know the mechanism that takes place here really, but just think to yourself, alkene, electrophilic addition, normally the case, all right? So I'm gonna draw out the molecule that would form after the mechanism had taken place. I'm not actually going to break down the individual curly arrows within the mechanism. I'll leave that for another video, but for the time being, this is the molecule that's formed, okay? The double bond is broken and the chloride ion is bonded onto the carbon. So if we count around this carbon bond here, I'm gonna think of this as the central carbon. We're gonna have a CH3 methyl group on the left, so that's one, CO2 is two. We're gonna have this other end of the chain, the R group is three, and then the hydrogen is four. These are four different groups, okay? So we do have a chiral center. All right, moving on to compound pair B. So this is an aldehyde, okay? The double bond is on the end. And the mechanism that's going to take place here when reacting with the cyanide ion, this is the nucleophile, is going to be nucleophilic addition. So I'll draw out again what the compound will look like after the mechanism has taken place. So just as I did in the first molecule, I'm gonna show the hydrogens because I feel like showing all the four groups bonded to the carbons just makes it a bit easier for you. So again, the cyanide here, let's think of this as our group one. We have a hydroxyl on the end, so that's group two. Hydrogen is three, and then we have the R group on the left, the remainder of the chain. So again, four different groups. This is also chiral. So C then is an alkene again, very similar to A. We just have the double bond at the end of the chain rather than in the middle, all right? So we're gonna have exactly the same mechanism taking place here, electrophilic addition, again with the HCl. So I've run out of space a bit here, so I'm gonna draw this to the left. So I'm gonna draw my hydrogens here on that carbon, and then on the left-hand side, we're gonna have our methyl group, which is present in the skeletal format, just as the end of the chain, but I'm gonna actually put it in for us so we can see it as a group. And then we have our chlorine bonded in green here. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing and count around this central carbon that the chlorine is attached to. We're gonna have our hydrogen at the top, the R group on the right, the chlorine at the bottom, and then the methyl group on the left. So that's four different groups. Again, chiral, okay? So we know the answer is gonna be D here because all these three are chiral, but I'm gonna go through it just in case. What is this molecule? What functional group is present? It's a ketone. Again, it's reacting with hydrogen cyanide. So the cyanide ion is gonna act as a nucleophile, nucleophilic addition, again, same as B, okay? So A and C are the same essentially, and then B and D are the same. 
So what's different here then? So the double bonded oxygen is going to break forming an alcohol group just like in B and then we're going to get our CN bonded to that central carbon with a methyl group on either side as is shown in the skeletal formula but I'm just drawing it in again. So let's count around then. So our alcohol group is one, methyl is two, CN our nitrile is three but methyl, we can see some symmetry here, is the same. Okay, so we've got two of the same. So there are only three different groups bonded. Therefore, this is not chiral. So that would be our final answer. Right, guys, that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope it was helpful. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for future science and maths content. All the best in your revision and upcoming exams, guys. Just try your best. Don't stress too much and you'll be fine. Peace.